people get involved in your campaign. They say, you know what? I love this woman. I love what she's doing. She's fighting for us. This is John Burrell reporting for Conservative New Media. What's up, brother? <laughs> Good to see you again, Good man. To see you. All right. Senator Jeff Denham. Uh, what did you think of the event tonight? I thought it was a great event. You know, we've seen uh, a lot of controversy over the last several months, uh, uh, you know, statewide, nationwide attention. And this was about uh, not only our 50th anniversary, but actually providing scholarships for students at a tough time when we've got uh, huge deficits. Uh, this is making sure that students are going to receive a quality education, one that they can afford. What do you think of the protests that came here tonight, which would have actually prevented this scholarships? Yeah. You know, certainly disappointing, but one of the things we heard in the speech, uh, one of the things that's important about our great nation is freedom of speech, and, you know, those are the freedoms that we have here. But certainly disappointing when uh, this is done for the, the good of the students and the scholarships uh, that are going to be provided. Uh, certainly disappointing to see that there were only a few students out there, and I think a few people from outside of the community, but the thousands of protesters that were talked about, uh, you know, there just wasn't that type of controversy. Now, as, sorry, as an elected official and someone that's now running for Congress, how fired up were you to be right Right there in front of Sarah Palin and that close to really, I would say, conservative greatness and motivation. You know, I thought it was great. You know, it's amazing to uh, be around somebody that really gets it, that understands what makes our nation great, what makes us different from, from other nations, the freedoms, the, uh, the fight for liberty. And, you know, she just brought it all home. And, and I think it's a strong message for not only everybody here, uh, but everybody in our community. Now, what do you think her chances are if she runs in 2012? Would you like to see that? Or do you think she's more effective as a speechmaker, someone that can help behind the scenes, and someone that's on Fox? I mean, wh what are your personal opinions? Because I know, obviously, you're a political expert being right in the system yourself. I would say yes to all of the above. <laughs> you know, I, I think she's great right now. Uh, she's getting out there, providing a great message across the nation. And, uh, you know, I think that's what we need. You know, everything from the Tea Party, getting new people uh, energized to uh, getting conservatives out there and getting new people to understand what makes our country great. We need her out there. We need her out there very vocal. And, uh, you know, I think that she's seeing great success. And, you know, I think that she'll be able to translate that into whatever it is that she wants to do in the future. Do you think with the, the, the rise of of women in politics. This last year with the elections we saw women winning seat after seat. Do you think this is because of the Sarah Palin effect? Uh, you know, I think it's a, it's because of a changing time, and we're seeing a lot more women get involved in politics, a greater number uh, going out and voting and turning the tide in these elections, uh, but certainly from a Republican perspective, uh, great to see a, a huge number of women getting involved uh, from our statewide ticket to, to seeing uh, Sarah Palin on the national stage. Very quickly, let's talk about your race. Now, conservative new media viewers, and we know that the Legion, we got about a million hits every month now. We saw you back at the ATF event down in Silicon Valley, and that was a great event. And you should decide to switch gears, and now you're going for Congress. What are your biggest platforms, and what's it going to take for you to win this 19th congressional district and get California and the nation back conservative again? Uh, well, certainly it was a tough primary. It's always tough when you're going against like-minded individuals and uh, uh, certainly a crowded uh, Republican field that had a, a lot of great guys that had great ideas. Um, but going forward to the general, uh, it's not just good enough to go and serve in Congress. It's time to serve in the majority. I just got back from Washington, D.C., and uh, you know I'm going to take a leadership role in making sure that not only are we picking up seats, but we are taking the majority, and I'm going to lead that freshman class in doing so. Thank you. Appreciate it.